Hey guys, today I just want to show you a couple ways to uh, get a background scene in Blender. Uh, one way is using the compositor and just add, and just adding a different image, which is what I did in this picture right here. And another way is let me render that. This is a different. Um, it's just using the war in, in the world tab, just making some changes to the horizon color and whatnot. So uh, today I just want to show you how to do that. So uh, let's get started. I'm just going to open a f this file that I have. Um so you can just use any project you're working on right now. Um I'm just adjusting the camera. Yeah. Just like that. All right, so uh one way to add a background to your scene would be to go under the world tab and in her under horizon color to just add the color that you want to use which is what I did here and I just uh, clicked to these boxes here because it gave me a better sky because if you see here it's like blended you can just change uh, just mess around with these uh, um, with these um, options uh, and just see how they work so now if I were to render this, see my background, it has this blue. You can see right here it's blending. It's blue and it's a little lighter and a little lighter or darker here. You know, so that's just one way to get that into your scene. And another way is like what I used over here, uh, using the node compositor, which is what I'm going to open right now. Alright, so here I have my scene. And here's a UV picture of my of my scene, and it's also going to include the compositors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to well I just I'll just delete all these compositors just so you can see what I did. And so let's just X X. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to split open a new window and you want to go to Node Editor. And you should already have this node up here. And if you don't, you can just add it in under Output. Um, no, where was it? Input Render Layers. Then, but you you want to add it like that, and you want to add an image. Just drag that up here. And now just open up any background image that you have saved on your computer. So I'm going to just find my image, and there it is. Alright, so with the node editor, now I also wanted to add a little bit of darkness, because this looks more like a night sky, the way I cropped it with GIMP. And so if I were to, if I were to add this now, it would, uh, it would look too bright against this background. So let me just show you how that how that works. I don't know where my uh, toolbar went, but uh, you can just uh, there it is. All right, so let's just go to add, and let's add an output composite. So here's our composite, and we want to add another node, another panel, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know what they're called. And we want to add a mix. Or no, alpha over. And so now with this alpha over, we want to just drag these node cables, node thingy majiggers, over to the alpha cable. And the alpha cable should already be connected to the compositor. If it's not, then you can just click and drag over. And so here we have our result. And like I said, I think this looks too bright to... Uh, to compare to my sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to drag this over along with the alpha. No, yes, no. Yeah. Um, yeah, along with the alpha. And uh over down here I want to add a under color an RGB curve. There we go. And I just want to connect my image to there. And when you move the curve, you can see that it affects your uh, image down here. So the lower it goes, the darker it gets. And so I can just use that and just play around with that. 
so I get a tone that I like. And um, I like that tone. And so now that we have that done, uh, well, that's all you do, actually. Uh, by having a UV image, UV editor image window open, it will automatically um, adjust your scene as you adjust it up here. Um, so that's just two ways to add a background to your image. It doesn't have to be a background. You can also, like a green screen image back here. You can add stuff from Blender. I don't know if I'll make a video or not about that, but uh, that's just how I add a background with this or the sky world, the horizon sky editor. Um, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, please comment below.